Masashika is an ugly loser otaku until the most popular girl in school falls in love with him. But she isn't just any popular girl. She is so popular that all the students stare at her, envying the ground she walks on. One morning, Walmart Timothy Chalamet walks up to her thinking his $2 haircut is enough to raise her up, but Alia rejects him immediately. The idiot tries to save face by switching tactics to getting her number. However, Alia shatters his self-worth and tells him she has zero interest in him, leaving him speechless. The rest of the school lose any hope of bagging her since she just roasted the hell out of the most coveted boy in school. Later, Alia arrives in class and finds Masashika catching up on his sleep, so she kicks the moron awake and asks if he was up all night watching anime again. He admits to the allegations but explains that he had something important to do after watching. Alia thinks he was on some Twitter thread, but it turned out that the virgin loser was staying up watching anime recaps. Alia calls him insane but Masashika insists that if it's for the culture, they'll gladly be put in straitjackets. She then stares as he yawns wide enough to accommodate an eggplant, then she says something in Russian. He asks what it was and she says it means he looks pathetic. Their first period is chemistry something these two have plenty of. And when Masashika realizes he forgot to bring his textbook, he joins tables with Alia to share hers. While the teacher drones on, Masashika fights to stay awake, but when he loses, Alia sticks him with her pen, causing him to raise his hand. The teacher asks what the answer is so Masashika looks to Alia for help. She points him to an answer and Masashika confidently repeats it, but he ends up being dead wrong. The teacher then turns to Alia to bail him out and she instantly gives up the correct answer. Masashika can't believe the betrayal and asks why she would throw him under the bus like that. Alia claims she was pointing out the question number, but Masashika just knows she's full of shit, especially with that evil smile. Suddenly, she repeats that word in Russian, which catches Masashika off guard. When he asks what she said, she calls him stupid but Masashika has a secret. He's been able to understand her Russian this entire time, and she was actually calling him a cutie. This rocks his whole world, trying to figure out what she means, but she continues to play dumb. He's able to understand her since he played with a Russian girl when he was a kid, but he never thought he'd find himself being rizzed up by a Russian baddie who doesn't know he can understand her. If he admitted he knew, she'd probably die of embarrassment and he can't afford funeral expenses. Later, Aliyev catches Masashika messing with his phone and reminds him it's forbidden to use it unless it's an emergency, but he just ignores her. Frustrated, Alia grabs the phone to see what this filthy degenerate is up to anyway. When she sees the goddess of the moon with silver hair, she hands the phone back annoyed. Then she switches to Russian and says her hair is silver too and calls him a cheater. Masashika catches that and starts to glitch, but when he asks what she said, she calls him a game junkie. The airhead immediately loses focus and starts explaining how he's not a true junkie since he doesn't have his own Twitch stream yet. Alia simply looks away, realizing there's no hope for him. Later, Mastashika has lunch with his friends when they notice the student council walk in. Alia, the treasurer, Yuki, the spokesperson, and Maria, the secretary, and Alia's sister. The boys agree that the Kujo sisters are smoking hot, but Maria turns down everyone who asks her out, saying she's dating someone already. Alia says Takeshi's got no shot with her since his head is shaped like a doorknob, so Takeshi calls him out on being full of it just because he's friends with Alia. Meanwhile, the girls look around for a place to sit, and when Yuki spots Masashika's uninterested look, she asks if they can sit with them. The boys agree, so the girls join them and Yuki notices Masashika got Raymond just like her. However, when she realizes the food tastes like battery acid, she suggests bringing it up with the student council. Masashika warns her not to bring personal preferences into admin matters, but she fondly tells him she's only joking. At that moment, Alia looks at Yuki like she's some shit stain and asks if they're friends. Yuki explains that they've known each other since childhood, since they went to the same preschool. When Masashika asks if the girls are friends too, Yuki says she'd like to be, but Alia warns her that being friends with her isn't exactly fun. At that point, the boys decide to take their lunch elsewhere, and Takeshi explains the girls are just too shiny for their virgin eyes. Once the dead weight has been dropped, Yuki inches close to Masashika, and asks if he's considered her idea of joining the student council, but Masashika says he would rather watch that 2010 Airbender movie we don't talk about. Yuki tells Elia that Masashika used to be her vice president back in middle school, and he's very capable, so Alia switches to Russian and says she doesn't have to tell her that. Later, Yuki says her goodbyes and Alia says she's surprised any girl would want to be friends with him. 
Miss Ashika points out that she's his friend, which surprises Elia, who agrees and suddenly walks away, leaving Miss Ashika confused. Later, Miss Ashika dreams of the good old days when he used to play with a blonde Russian girl. When he wakes up, he remembers how he was such a simp that he studied Russian just to talk to her, yet he doesn't remember her name. The next morning, Masashika goes to class early and tidies up before everyone else arrives. Alia is the first show up and thinks Hell must have frozen over for his bum ass to have woken up early. Masashika notices the dirt on her socks and asks if she stepped in a puddle, but she sits down and explains that she got splashed with mud by a passing truck. She suddenly changes the subject and asks if he'll join the student council after all, but he insists that he'd rather swallow nails. Alia tries to ask something else but gets embarrassed and tells him to forget it. She then begins to remove her socks which makes Masashika weak in the knees. When Alia sees how shy he is, she gets a cultured idea and tells Masashika to get her spare sock from her locker. Masashika reluctantly agrees but when she tells him to put it on her, he tries to chicken out, but she says it would be a nice treat for him for helping her get it. Alia switches to Russian and says it's for her too and at this point, Masashika starts wondering if she's just using him to release her stress or something. When he asks what she said, she says she called him a coward, so Masashika grabs her foot and decides to do as she's asked. Alia starts freaking out, saying she wasn't ready yet, but Masashika tells her to stop squirming so he can get it in. However, he accidentally touches her in her restricted area, so she immediately kicks him in the face and gives him a peek of heaven in the process. The man goes down, but it was worth the treat. Later, Alia gives him cold shoulder, so he approaches her and tries to apologize but she calls him a leg fetish scum in Russian. She then says she's not mad at him and apologizes for kicking him, but when she tries to see if he's okay, he deflects and thanks her for giving him a preview of the promised Everland. Alia is beyond embarrassed and decks him. Then she turns to run away while he chases after her. They run around school for a while, but 10 minutes later, she finally gives in. Masashika apologizes for taking it too far and offers her favorite drink as a peace offering. Ali is touched that she noticed and switches to Russian to ask if he wants a sip. Masashika freezes when he realizes she wants to indirectly kiss him, but he chickens out and pretends not to know what that means. As usual, she changes the translation and laughs to herself, thinking he doesn't understand a word she's saying. Comment Russian Riz if you want a part 2, and if you like anime recaps like this, then watch this video over here.